Hello and welcome to another Dune Imperium digital video. Today I've got a two for one challenge video for you, including both the normal and the heroic version of the Bene Gesserit initiation challenge. Now, in case you think that's a spoiler and that means I definitely beat the normal mode before moving on to the heroic mode, not necessarily. The normal mode video and the heroic video were recorded uh, at least a week apart. Uh, so maybe I failed the normal mode and I beat it in the meantime and then played the heroic later. Maybe I beat it this time. Who knows? But there's no spoilers. All right, with that, thank you very much for watching. As always, the best way to support the channel is to subscribe, to like, and to let me know what you think of the videos and let me know what challenges you'd like to see in the future. Thanks very much for watching and on to the video. I could do a heroic of one I've already done, or I could play a challenge I haven't tried yet. I think, I think maybe I'll do one that I haven't tried. Let's see. All right, let's do some Bene Gesserit stuff. I feel like doing that. You start with Mishnara Protectiva in your deck instead of a Reconnaissance. Whenever you acquire a Bene Gesserit card, tra you may trash a card. Opponents start with one influence with another faction. All right, let's just try this. Okay, so we're doing Bene Gesserit stuff, um, which means we're probably gonna be wanting to hit selective breeding when possible. Paul Atreides also could be good for the extra card draw and knowing what's on top of your deck. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to take Memnon here because the extra spice, I think, could come in handy. Okay, no Bene Gesserit cards available, unfortunately. This is so weird. Well, I have the start, which lets me... Which lets me get to the early Stamalange, early Swordmaster, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to go here... Signet Ring Spice gets me there. We'll deploy some troops. I'll deploy two troops here. Okay, so it's a little bit weird to not have any Bene Gesserit cards available in the Imperium row. Uh, getting a prescient vision it's both it's both what does that mean i would like to get this for that spice but i can't i can't do it because that would mean not taking the cell melange which i want to do So with my three, it looks like it's going to be a Shifting Allegiances, which is not a bad thing to have available. Uh, so let's grab that. Still no Bene Gesserit cards. That's a lot of troops there for that point, but hey, it's a point. I'm gonna get a water, which I'm quite happy with. Um, right. Gonna get the sword master. though I don't have to do it immediately. So maybe this is a good time to grab the spice at the Imperial Basin. Let's do that. And I'll deploy a troop here. I wouldn't mind that second place if I can get it. Pet. 
pedal some water. Pedal it up. Pedal it up. <laughs> okay. Um. Right, Swordmaster. Thank you. This is what I like about Memnon. That ability to get that Swordmaster that fast is pretty nice. It's a three-move Swordmaster, right? You go to Haga Basin, Summerland, Swordmaster. Okay, uh, so Diplomacy, the only real option. I could go to Selective Breeding now, I guess. Um, but I'm going to go to Wealth. All right. Reveal. And do I want a Spice Hunter or do I want an Arrakis Liaison? Uh, it's a Liaison. Because I like all of these cards here and the Spice Hunter is not going to get me those. Okay. Okay. That's not bad at all. Let's see what we get for the Intrigue card. Water of Life. Okay. That can be really good sometimes. And it's especially nice to know that you have that. I want this because it's a Bene Gesserit card. That's a big, great flat. Nice haul there for the Beast. I feel like it should be the beast, not just beast, right? He's Glossu. It, I'm sorry, this is not correct. It's not Glossu Beast. Or am I wrong? Oh, geez. You know what? I'm going to pull up my Dune book here. Let me see. We have a copy of Dune right here. Nice hardcover. And I'm sorry, but I just need to I just need to answer this here. Where can we find the beast? Is there a glossary? It's both. It's both. Beast? Is there a listing for beast? There's no listing for beast. Okay. Let's see if we can find Glossu. There's no listing for Glossu. This this glossary or index or whatever it is, is failing me here. I have to look through the actual book. Hmm. Okay. Well, we'll see. We'll see what we can find, but let's take a move here. What are we doing? Um, we got to seek allies. That's got to go somewhere. Doesn't it? Hmm. Do I want a high council seat? I guess I do. So, let me go to wealth again. <laughs> now, while it's the AI's turn, which happens super fast, let me take another look in my book. Let's take a look in a book. Is it Beast Raban or is it The Beast? Do they call him The Beast? I feel like they call him The Beast, right? Hmm. Well, as fascinating as this might be, I guess I'll have to look up <laughs> that answer another time. All right, let me get... I don't need to do the High Council seat just yet. So let me hit up some water and some Freeman points. Let's do that. All right. Beast or the beast? Beast or the beast? Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Um, I guess I'll take that 
Freeman bump now just to have it? Or do I get closer to the Imperial Alliance while I'm there? Now nah, let's do this. Open that up. It's a little bit awkward. I want the I want the power play because it's good, but I want the Reverend Mother because she's a Bene Gesserit card, which is like kind of the whole point of this mode. A little weird. There's a couple of them here now. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to go... I'm going to go with the flow here, the theme. Of course, power play for five is the move. But... I'm gonna do the thing, another power play. Okay, now I'm supposed to be able to trash a card here. Okay, it's here. All right, play area, let's get rid of this dagger. All right, and there's nothing here for one. Whoa, what just happened there? That was weird. Okay, we'll end the turn. So the idea here is to just like trash the whole deck if you can, right? I mean, that's the that's the point of this mode. Um, if I'm just gonna try to win the game while ignoring the mechanics of it, what's the point? Um, <laughs> there's still two power plays here, but I want to get I want to get that other Bene Gesserit card if I can. All right, uh, let's see here. There's more spice to get. I guess I can just take it. Hello, I hope the devs add some sort of PvP ranked mode. Yeah, I hope so too. I I don't know. I can't remember seeing them comment on that. I think at best they've said something like, yeah, it's something we're thinking about or whatever. Um, but it would be nice for sure. All right. I'm, I'm very troopless at the moment. But I might be able to shift some allegiances here. Yeah, in terms of competitive stuff they've put in the game, they've just had a couple of those events, right? Those like kind of tournaments. There was the one last weekend, the War Chest, um, which if you check out my YouTube channel, you can see I'm uploading the games from that one at a time. There's two games up right now. Um, just YouTube, Bludgeon, Dune Imperium, you'll find them. Um, and there was the one from like a month ago where they did, I think it was called Test of Humanity, which is a similar idea. And those are great, um, but yeah, it'd be nice to have like just a constant kind of ranked mode of some sort. Okay, do I want to early reveal for a Spice Must Flow? No, I don't. Let me use my shifting allegiances and uh, <laughs> I don't have a lot of great stuff to do, honestly. Do I want more Solari? I guess it wouldn't be the worst. Open up some Mentat plays or yeah, let's do that. Okay, I am going to do this. I think jump up the emperor one point. That yeah, seems reasonable. So we're going to go down with the emperor and then up with the emperor. So down one, up two. It's um it's a way to use that card that's not really obvious by looking at it. Go down one with an influence faction to go up two, but you can do it with the same track to just go up one basically. Um, all right, that's that. B 
Beast Raban or the Beast Raban? That's driving me crazy. Beast Raban and the Beast Raban. It's both. It's both. Firm grip. Didn't someone just buy the firm grip? What's going on here? Okay. No, he used it. All right. Um, with my final agent, seven persuasion. What does that do? I'd love to get both of these, but that's out of reach unless I burn my water of life, which... Uh, Do I want to go to Arakeen? I'll draw one of those. I mean, a troop wouldn't be the worst. So, <laughs> I guess I'll just do this. Or do I get my rally troops here while I'm sitting here? Maybe that's it. Let's do that. All right. This game feels super weird, man. <laughs> it's very different from the last one, where it was like very intense, like decision making all the time. This one, I feel like I'm just kind of fucking around. Um, you know? Ooh. Ooh. I want that. I want that. So. If I use Water of Life, then I can get it. So, I'm going to use Water of Life. All right. And we get that. And I don't want the assassination mission. Let's lose and a dagger, I think. I think so. And the assassination mission, I think, is whatever. I'm not desperate for it. <laughs> right, so again, what I'm doing with this is I'm going with the theme of this challenge, which is Bene Gesserit Initiation. So I'm just going for these Bene Gesserit cards, whether or not I feel like it's the optimal way to win the game because I've already made decisions that are not optimal for just winning the game. Um, you know, I've passed up power play like two turns in a row. Okay. Um... So on brand, I want to try to hit up Selective Breeding, I think. Because I want to combo these cards if I can. Uh, it's hmm. Maybe I better save it for a Selective Breeding next turn instead of this turn, but I might still want the spice right now. So let me just do that. Throw in, nah, they already have two troops in. Am I gonna win? I don't have daggers to support it. So you know what? Let me pass on that. <laughs> if I win here, it's just gonna be by like incidentally, essentially. Ooh, man, oh man. Oh, that alliance is a very dangerous, very dangerous situation for me there. Okay. Well, they've played all their agents, so it's just me. Maybe I go to selective breeding anyway just to trash a card. Uh, 
I can trash. Ooh, that would trash me too, but I don't have two good ones to trash. So, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> let's trash him up. Okay, so we'll get rid of this. Fine. So the hope is that eventually these Bene Gesserit cards just combo themselves like every round and I'm able to catch up. Um, I'd probably still buy a Spice Must Flow here. All right. This now actually combo... Yeah, yeah, yeah. This combos with the Arrakis Liaison with the Freeman Bond. So that's kind of cool. I guess that means I play the Missionar Protectiva. Okay. And that actually... Six... Do I have swords? No. I can tie for first and take a point away from the beast. I guess I might as well do that. Do I want to draw a card here? I guess so, right? The more I draw, the sooner I get to my Manchesteric <laughs> cards. So. All right. We'll deploy three. And unfortunately, no swords. I don't even know if I have swords in my deck. I trashed my daggers. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> it's just taunting me. <laughs> okay. End turn. Reveal for a whole bunch. Um, and let's get... Okay, here's a Bene Gesserit card, so let's take that. There's another one. Okay, but let's not get... Let's not get crazy. I do need to try to pretend like I'm trying to get some points here. Okay. All right, so I denied the point from the beast, which is nice. Get some water, which could come in handy with the research station. Siege of Arakine. Okay, we've got some combo action here. Okay. Hmm. What's more important? Spice? Or influence? Or getting this alliance right now while I can with the Reverend Mother. I really want to use her to make them discard cards. And the spice might be good. To maybe open me up for Hayliner when the time is right. Uh, <laughs> the tricky thing with these Bene Gesserit cards is the sequence that you play them. It makes it a bit awkward. I'm going to go to Arakeen here. Okay, great. We'll deploy some troops. The beast sitting on eight troops up there. Okay, great. So Reverend Mother is going to mess these people up here. Yeah, I've got to get this alliance while I can. Make them discard. Yeah. Okay. I don't have the Freeman Bond here, unfortunately. I 
another Bene Gesserit card. Okay. Um, trash and Spice? Or get a point while I can. Hmm. This also lets me trash. It doesn't get me the spice, unfortunately. But I I kind of need to get some stuff rolling there. Hate liner could be important next turn. Where would I even send this? I guess if I... Ah, research station? I don't want to do that. All right, I'm going to do it this way. We're going to get the point here. We'll trash, we'll just get this dune out of the hand because I have no discard pile and that's basically all I've got. So let's just do it. All right, the deck is getting smaller. It's getting more concentrated. Reveal for five. All right. Do we want the Bene Gesserit Sister or do we want the Bene Gesserit Initiate? The Initiate is pretty nice. It can go to three different places and it draws you a card when you play it, which can be pretty good. Um, the Sister is a much more versatile reveal. It can also take me to Bene Gesserit Spaces where I am competitive for an Alliance. But if it's not, yeah. I'm going to do it that way. Okay, now, is there a thing I can trash? <laughs> do I want to trash my signet ring? I don't know about that. It's getting sort of weird here with the trashing. I think I'll decline that. Okay, and with two left, uh, we're not gonna do the liaison, although that does combo with my one Reverend Mother. But no, we're not doing it. We're not doing it. Okay, got some Solari here. Could be a Mentat. Could be a Rally Troops. Battle for Karthag. All right, well, so I failed to get the Spice when I needed to, but I can do it right now. That's four. Unfortunately, it won't let me shift allegiances, really, but... Three for free, I think, is what I want to do. have to pass on that because I want the Hayliner. Yeah, unfortunately. Ooh, I'm losing my alliance up here. That is nasty. There's those power plays coming back to bite me. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, do I need to Hayliner? I mean, I guess I still might as well. Um,. Where is that going to go? Should I do this first? I'm not going to have Spice Must Flow money. 
Maybe I should rally some troops. Although five, seven. Yeah, it kind of works. What's my last card? Spice must flow. Maybe I draw it just to get it out of the way. Well, I'm going to Hayliner here just because I'm ready to do it. But I don't know if I need to throw in like a million troops. The Beast is out of Agents. Helena has one, but not a lot of troops to throw in. So I don't think I want to go <coughs> too overboard here. Now, it's possible that Intrigue cards could mess me up. So I'm going to do that and hope that's enough. Okay, Hardy Warriors. Hardy Warriors plus entry cards. Okay, it's only three. All right, well, we've got six here to reveal. So I guess I take another Bene Gesserit card. Do I have anything good to trash? It's just the Signet Ring. Is it time to lose the Signet Ring? Is that, is that what's happening here? Do I have, an, do I have enough Bene Gesserit cards, honestly? I mean, what I want to be losing is like the convincing arguments, I guess. The spice must flow, obviously. Maybe I don't need any more cards at all. I just want to draw like the the Reverend Mother as much as I can. Shagif, thank you for the follow. Nice to have you here. All right, I'm gonna just actually end it there. Okay. Pass it up. Okay, so I get the points, which is good. Uh, you know, the points are needed here. I was definitely a bit behind. I'm still behind, but at least I'm in better shape. Battle for Imperial Basin coming up. All right, unfortunately, I don't have my combo cards on me, so maybe now's a good time to hit up the research station. Okay. They're getting close to Hayliner. Maybe I need to pick up Spice again. Ah, I wanted that one. Yeah. Okay, can I fight for this? Somehow. If I send my signet ring here, that gets me four spice, bringing me to five. Or do I just grab a bunch of cards and try to combo some stuff? Hmm. Let me do that. Give me those cards. Okay, that's good, that's good. That's not bad. We'll throw in these troops because second place honestly wouldn't be bad here. Okay, now the the unfortunate thing about the Reverend Mother here is that 
by the time I play her, Helen is already going to have revealed. Actually, the both of them will. So it won't. Ooh, eight points. <laughs> That's not good. That's not good at all. Plus, if he wins this, he's at ten. Okay, this is about to be. This is about to be over. This is about to be over, unless I can counter Hayliner somehow. I need to get five, no, I need to get four spice. How can I get four spice? Well, if I send here, there's three, and if I send that somewhere, that's four, but that's not enough. I won't have enough agents left. Uh, does getting Mentat help me? Hmm. Can I do it without Hayliner? What could I do? Uh, I would need to, like, rally troops. Hardy Warriors would put in two. Then... Hmm. Hardy Warriors might be the play. That lets me put in two... Maybe Rally Troops, then Hardy Warriors, and I can throw in four. I think that's the move. Okay, he has no swords. It's just about, does he have an entry card that's going to mess me up? Okay, so this has to be... I guess I don't have to go to Hardy Warriors. I could go to a city and throw in three troops. Um, but I better I better not mess around here. Let me just do this. And try to give myself the best chance of succeeding there. Reveal. We'll take a spice must flow. And uh, I guess we want the test of humanity. Right? That's that seems all right for what we're doing. Uh trash a card. Yes, let's trash this spice must flow. We don't want that. Where is that? My discard pile? Yeah, let's get rid of it. Okay. So, I managed to get that conflict, which is very key. That was necessary, or the beast was going to win. Grand Vision. What would the Grand Vision do? Potentially steal an alliance here, potentially get me an alliance here, get me a point here, get my alliance back here. It could be quite good. Beast sitting on a huge garrison. Um, Let's see here. Lots of potential. Shifting allegiances could steal me that alliance back right now, which would be a pretty big deal. So I think I have to do that. And this is a great time to hit up the Imperial Basin. So let me do that.
Let's shift some allegiances. Okay, so I'm going to drop down, I think, on the guild. It's either the guild or the freeman. Do I think I can steal that back? I don't know. There is a chance. Um, but if I can't, that's taking me one step away from just an easy point with the guild. So, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to drop down with the freeman. I'm going to go up with the Emperor too, and that's going to steal that alliance back and lock it up. Bringing me to 10 points. We'll deploy the troops because why not? Helen is sitting on a boatload of spies here. Um, so I guess what I want to do is play the Reverend Mother and then the Mission R Protectiva so that I can get that bump there just for an extra point. I think that makes sense. Um, I guess... Hmm... I'm thinking about selective breeding. I guess I, I might as well. Does that make sense? Or would I rather just have a, an intrigue card? Two cards here is not gonna do a ton for me. It's probably not gonna get me to Spice Must Flow anyway. So yeah, let's get an intrigue card. It might be good. Double cross, fine. Uh, do we wanna trash a card? Well, there's nothing really good to trash. I don't have a discard pile. I don't want to trash a card from my hand at this stage, I don't think. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Um, so, yeah, you've got to click the card, but whatever. I'll decline that. Double cross could come in handy. Okay, well, luckily the beast cannot take that alliance back. Uh, can't really do much of use with this, luckily for me. Okay, so Missionara Protectiva has to go to work, and that means it has to be here. All right, so let me take that with the guild. We'll get that point. We'll deploy a troop because why not? Um, I don't have to do that right this second. So let me just, I mean, there's no, I can tie hell enough for a second. I might as well when the time comes, I guess. But there's no point doing it now. Might as well wait to see if she has swords to see if it's worthwhile. All right. Okay, so we're going to double cross just for the heck of it. We'll double cross Helena here and we'll <laughs> force her to tie for seconds so we both get nothing. That amuses me. Um, nothing worth buying here for five. I mean, if I buy this, I could trash a card, but who cares? It's game over. Okay. Grand Vision, the Beast. What do you got? Yeah, you get a point there. Not bad. But not enough. All right, it's victory. <laughs> so I really, uh, I really didn't think that was super likely to happen. Um, the first half of that game was pretty silly, honestly. I was buying 
you know, passing up power plays and kind of making weird decisions, just trying to go with the flow of the Bene Gesserit theme. And like I said, you know, in that part of the game, the theory or the hope is that by doing that, I'm going to get this like really compact, you know, deck that's going to start going off and maybe I can catch up. And it, it worked. It worked. I caught up. I was able to win, you know, a couple of big conflicts and uh, get my points in the end. So it worked. I didn't really think it was going to, but hey, you know, that's the fun of these things. And I enjoy that. It's nice to um, to get a nice lean Bene Gesserit deck going. It's hard to do that in the standard game. It usually is kind of a trap a lot of the time if you try to do it. It can work, but it's it's pretty hard to make it work. And it's not even easy to do once you have a dense deck of them because you still it's still awkward playing them in the right order. Um, so this challenge is kind of a way to make that a little bit easier to play with that. Anyway, that's going to be it for uh, the stream, the video for right now. So thank you very much for tuning in, for chatting with me, for watching along and for following. Really appreciate it. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can follow along live on Twitch, twitch.tv slash bludgeon. If you enjoy this content, um, subscribe and let me know what you think of uh, of my play today. What do you think of these con... No, what do you think of these challenges? And let me know which ones you are having the most trouble with or which ones you enjoy the most. All right, that's going to be it. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Is the Ben and Jesuit initiation. Last time I did complete the normal mode of that. Um, what does the heroic mode do? Whenever you acquire a Ben and Jesuit card, trash. Opponents start with one influence with each faction. You can't win until you have trashed your entire starting deck other than Signet Ring and Missionara Protectiva. Uh, okay, let's try that. So that definitely makes it more interesting because the last time was basically you get sort of a bonus for picking up Bene Gesserit cards, but you don't really have to. <laughs> but this one, it's like, okay, you've got to trash your whole deck. I like that. Let's try it. Check, check. All right. Um, choose your leader. Hmm. Who would I like to pick for this? Helena potentially lets me get a couple of extra Bene Gesserit cards. I can reserve them with the Signet Ring. Um, let's just do that for fun. Okay, no Bene Gesserit cards here in the Imperium Row. Listen to that bang, 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 bang. All of my opponents getting one influence with every faction. That's kind of, uh, that's kind of a big deal. Okay, how do I want to do this now? Got my Signet Ring, I can reserve a card. Uh, if I can somehow get fear that would be a great place to start I feel because the card draw on him is gonna help um, with churning through my deck and everything um, so I think I do want to just reserve that right off the top and then see what I want to do next um, I mean there is no rush I don't think anyone's gonna early reveal to snag him so I guess I don't have to do it immediately Okay, but the thing is, I have to keep an eye on my Persuasion, because once I play the Signet Ring, that'll bring me down to four. If I want to play the Diplomacy, that'll bring me down to three. What that means is, I could play the Diplomacy somewhere, and then play the Signet Ring to Hall of Oratory. That would work. Um, yeah. That's kind of what I have to do. Otherwise, I have to send a dagger up to the Hall of Oratory, which I don't really want to do that. Hmm. It's going to be a weird... It's going to be sort of a weird round here, but I'm going to do it that way. And <laughs> we'll see how things go.
<clears throat> right. Okay, well, um, where would I like to send this diplomacy? I guess I'm going to want some Solari at some point, so I might as well grab wealth while I can. Let me just do it. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> this influence is building up really quickly here. All right, well, um, starting off with a Thufir Hawat is pretty nice, so I'm pleased with that. Um, you know, the Fidekin Death Commando would also be good because I do need, I need ways to trash cards. And if I don't get the Bene Gesserit cards to do it for me, um, I'm going to need something else, right? I can't win unless I trash my entire starting deck here. You can't win until you've trashed your entire starting deck other than Signet Ring and Missionara Protectiva. So this is going to be an interesting... Uh, okay, there's a Peter DeVries, which I wouldn't mind getting my hands on. Still no Bene Gesserit cards to pick up. Ilbon going hard for this. Siege of Arakeen. Okay. I wouldn't mind picking up this three spice if I can, or even this two spice. Okay, that's not available. So I think I'm going to go and grab this three while I can. Um, because I'm going to probably have to visit the selective breeding here. Um, that also will let me sell Melange, which could... Yeah, I might want to do that too. Either way, I'm going to grab this spice right now. And I think I'm going to throw in two troops here. <clears throat> because like this second place prize would actually be pretty good if I could get it. I don't expect that I'll be getting first, but if I get first, fine. Um... Second would be actually maybe better. I don't know. Okay, Lido selling Melange. That takes that off the table for me. Well, it was off the table anyway. I don't have a, a card to take me up there. So I think I want to play the Seek Allies. And where shall I seek my allies? Do I just go back to wealth again? Or do I start working on <clears throat> my Freeman uh, influence here so that I can unlock the Siege Tabber when the time is right? Get me another water. Um, I'm just going to hit up the Emperor again. Actually get ahead on one of these tracks and get some more Solari for the bank. Depending on how this goes, I may end up with enough for Swordmaster next uh, round right off the top, if I can get second place. Okay, there's a Bene Gesserit card, but it's probably not going to be there. <laughs> when Oh, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, okay, looks like it will be there, so that's good news for me. Leto throwing in two troops... It looks like I'm probably going to get second here, uh, barring some intrigue play. So that's actually what I want. So that's great. Let me reveal. We'll grab the Bene Gesserit Initiate, which will allow me to trash a card, which I absolutely want to do. Um, I think I can trash this dagger at this point. Let me do that. What is this doing here? Why is that like that? That's weird. Okay. So this is pretty nice here because this four Solari brings me up to eight. 
because I went to wealth twice, um, that gives me my Swordmaster money. Now, Leto may very well block me. No, he can't block me because I'm Helena. Um, and I have a dagger to take me there. So that's, that's quite nice. Yeah, Leto goes to Swordmaster. That's fine. You go ahead and do that. Um, so there's no hurry for me to do that now. I could do other things first if I want to. And I think maybe it wouldn't be a bad time to hit up Arakeen, even though that feeds a Solari to Leto. Um, drawing a card, I think, would be pretty good here because it, like, I don't really have a great use for this Dune the Desert Planet. Um, other than selling Melange, which I don't think is my goal. Um, so let me do this. Let's draw a card. Okay, hello, Thufir. And um, I'm just going to throw in two, three, whatever. Let's just throw in three. Let's see how that goes. Yeah, can't activate that. It's fine. Uh, so the nice thing here is that I have a lot of options for my Swordmaster once I get it. I'm going to use the dagger to get it, and then Thufir can go anywhere he wants to go. Okay, conflict looking good at the moment. Let me grab the Swordmaster here. Okay, unfortunate because Peter DeVries is going to go work for the Baron. No, Cheney's going to go work for the Baron. That's playing against type. Sardok, our Legion pops up. No more Bene Gesserit cards at the moment. Lido is popular with the Landsrat. Okay, um, so... I do have the option of, instead of playing through fear, I could hang on to him to get an intrigue card. Um, five persuasion is pretty good for either one of these cards. So I could just play the dune instead of through fear. Drawing a card, what would that do? Honestly, I don't really want to draw a card because I don't want to kind of waste either of those. So I think I'll just hang on to through fear and get the intrigue card out of him. Uh, which means, I guess, selling Melange, which is okay, because I, I would like to get that High Council seat going. So, yeah, I think I'll do that. The question is, uh, do I want to sell more than just that? I think I just want to sell two. And the reason for that is I want to have enough for the High Council, but I'm, I want to be, be able to hit Selective Breeding in this game. And so I think I want that spice for that purpose. Okay, Peter DeVries gone, unfortunately, but it looks like I will be able to get the Sardaukar Legion, um, which is pretty good. And Thufir is going to give me an Intrigue card, which is really nice. Oh, hello. Um, yeah, I think it's. I think I'm going to pick up the Sardaukar Legion here. Am I winning this? All right. So I can just take the Emperor Alliance right now, which is kind of wild, right? Because I can do this and then I can demand respect and take it. Uh, is that what I want to do? I want to put at least one there. 
Um, but maybe taking two on the Freeman right now wouldn't be the worst idea either, just to unlock that possibility. Um, hmm. I think I'm just going to take that alliance right now, just to make sure. Get the troops. The troops might come in handy. All right, Siege of Carthag coming up here. Okay, I did draw the Sodokar Legion. So part of me was thinking, maybe I don't need to do this because if I can get the Sodokar Legion, I'm going to want to play it up here. Um, but I can actually just send this to get my High Council seat. Is anyone else likely to go there? The Baron already has it. No one else is going to do it, so I don't need to do it immediately. Um, I've got a few other options. I've got a lot of options. Diplomacy is something I'm going to want to play. The Bene Gesserit Initiate, the Signet Ring. Um, I guess Gurney would be a good thing to get with the Signet Ring. I wish I had a water right now because I'm kind of tempted to hit up Selective Breeding. I might have to just go to Imperial Basin just to get a spice to unlock the Selective Breeding. Uh, because I, I do need to trash cards. The issue is I don't have a discard pile right now, so I'd have to actually just discard or trash a card from my hand, which is not ideal. Um, hmm. It's not ideal. Maybe I just get the water so that I can get that. If nobody else gets it, somebody probably will. Okay, I'm gonna do it that way. I'm uh, I'm not in love with this move. I'm gonna throw in two troops there. I'm throwing in the troops because I want spice. I'm assuming I'm not gonna win first. If I do, great. Um, Okay. Yeah. All right, what's he doing? Ooh, Master Stroke. Okay, at least he's low on this. He's not threatening my alliance at this moment, but he's starting to creep up there. Jeez, man. Huh. Do I need to play the Sardaukar Legion up here just to buttress that alliance? That's not what I wanted to do at all. Hmm. Yeah, I don't I don't want to do that. So, I think I won't. Um, it's looking like I'm not going to be able to get the gurney really. Well, if I use this that's going to be a three, four, five. Mm, it's not going to be easy to do without playing my signet ring to freaking Hall of Oratory, I think. Okay, let me just do this first and get it out of the way because I know I want to do this. So let me do it. Um, yeah, I want, I want Gurney. And I can do it. It's just like a little weird. Okay, well, even the one spice for third, honestly, is like, I'll be happy to get it. So. 
I could go to Arakeen and draw a card, and as long as it's not the dagger, then I'll be in the clear for the gurney. If it is the dagger, then I'm screwed. But if it isn't, then I'll be okay. Because playing the signet ring drops me down to four. Drawing a card will bring me back up. I only need five to get gurney if I play the signet ring. I'm not super pumped about continuing to feed Leto Solari by going to Arakeen. Um, the other option is I could just send the signet ring to Hall of Oratory. Or I guess I could even send the Bene Gesserit Initiate to Hall of Oratory. But no, because I want to make sure I get the gurney, so I have to play the signet ring. Uh, and I can't afford to do the Haga Basin because then I won't have enough persuasion. So I'm going to do Arakeen. Um, and I could even throw in a load of troops if I really wanted to. And I just have, please don't draw the dagger. Please don't draw the dagger. What's it going to be? Okay, good. Let's set aside Monsieur Halleck. Okay, do I, I could deploy three troops here. I have no daggers to back it up. I have no intrigue cards to back it up. Um, it would be nice to win, but okay, Baron has no intrigue cards, but he could have swords in hand. Leto has an intrigue card, could have swords in hand. Uh, you know what? Let me try. Let me try. Oh, Ilvon wants in on this. Okay, one sword from the Baron. That's good. That's not enough. Ooh, that's something I'm going to want big time. Leto has two swords, so we're going to tie for first unless he plays an entry card. Okay, well, you know, I'm not too upset about that. I would have preferred, obviously, to win, but at least he doesn't get the point. I'm going to get an entry card, and I am going to get a spice, which is something I really want, so it's not the worst. All right, well, Gurney... I'm gonna require your services and this Reverend Mother is something I'm really gonna to wanna to get. Um, I'm, I still have a whole bunch of cards I need to trash. Six cards I need to trash still before I'm eligible to win this game. There's another Bene Gesserit card, so that's something I'm gonna want. Ah, oh, the Reverend Mother got picked up. Oh, that that's too bad. Okay, the spice is gonna be pretty handy. Bribery, okay. It's always nice to have that available. Cloak and dagger. Um, who was it who grabbed that Reverend Mother? Ilbon did, eh? Okay. Okay, now what? Uh, now would be a good time for me to hit Selective Breeding because I actually have a discard pile. Uh, so let me do that. Thufir, I would like you, my friend, to please pay a visit. There's also all this spice sitting here, though. Maybe I do that first and hope that nobody else goes to Selective Breeding. I mean, other people might, but it's like... This is too this is too juicy cuz this is like two selective breedings in the future. So I have to actually do that. Um yeah, that's just too much to leave sitting on the board. Unfortunately, I have no troops to throw in, so that's all that's going to happen there. Oh, 
I wonder if I'm going to need to pick up this guy just for extra trash. I still have six cards I need to trash. Um, all right, well, let's do the selective breeding now. Oh, wait, I can trash before I draw, right? Yeah. Oof, I was a little bit worried. Okay. So, trash this dune. Draw two. Okay, hello. Draw another one. Get the influence. I'm sitting on a lot of persuasion. Unfortunately, there's nothing super exciting for me to get with it. But I have a lot of options for my next card here. Sardaukar Legion. Um, I might want to send it up there <clears throat> to just get a little bit ahead on that alliance. Like, the Baron hasn't caught me yet, but I don't want to lose that. So that might be my play. What would I draw if I drew from Gurney? You know, whatever. Hmm... Diplomacy, yeah, I think I want to do that. And I'll get the Solari. I don't want to spend my four spice on that because I want to keep the spice available for selective breeding. So I'm going to do this and um, the Solari doesn't hurt to have because that activates my bribery as well, which I'm not going to use right now, but it's nice to have it available to be used when needed. Oh, the Bene Gesserit card I wanted got picked up. There's another one, though. That would be great. That would be a great one for me to get. Power play. Okay, I'm assuming Baron is going to grab that. Okay. Okay. Well, it's reveal time. I have nine, though. It's hard not to get a Spice Must Flow when I'm sitting on nine, but there are two Bene Gesserit cards, and I have two cards that I can trash with them, so I think I actually have to do that. Do I want to use Gurney's move? I don't think so. Just for that? No, I don't. But it's nice that it's... I like... They improved this visibility a little bit. They made this shinier, which was good because it was very easy to miss that before. Uh, a little animation wouldn't hurt, but I appreciate that. Um, okay. So let me pick up... How much do I have? Nine? Okay, great. Let's grab the Test of Humanity first. And uh, I'll trash something here. Let's get rid of this dagger. Okay. Let's grab the gene manipulation. Oof. And let's trash this dune, the desert plant. I have to trash the convincing arguments too at some point, don't I? That kind of sucks but that's how it is but um okay so do i do i trash one of them now instead of the dune because the dune at least i can play it um that's an interesting decision I'm actually gonna lose one of the convincing arguments here. It's a little bit weird. I don't know if that's the right decision. I have three remaining. I guess I just pick up the shifting allegiances. It kind of replaces the um, the convincing argument as far as persuasion goes, but also is like just a much better card. Or is there some reason I don't wanna pick up more cards? The Bene Gesserit combos. Um, I'm going to get the Shifting Allegiances. All right. And Gurney, not this time, my friend. Not this time. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay, so I've trashed quite a few cards now. I only have three left that I that I need to trash before I'm eligible to win. Um, I still have to actually win, and that's not exactly a simple task. Lido now hitting up to six points. I don't know. Maybe I should have trashed the Dune the Desert Planet. Like, these these spaces aren't exactly high priority for me anymore. I don't know. All right. All of these people are getting <laughs> intrigue cards. I do not have any. The Baron getting an influence. Did he take it here? He's still trying to get that from me, eh? Look at the Bene Gesserit cards. Okay, I might actually be able to combo them a little bit here. Look at the spice piled up here. My goodness. Oh boy. <laughs> I might just lose the game before, well, before I win. I mean, before I even get a chance to trash all the cards out of my deck, the game could be over. Um, okay, as far as reserving something goes, that power play would be a good one to reserve, but I kind of want to play my bet at Jess, right? Cards, man. Well, I could hit up the Mentat, I guess. Neither of these people can. Is that what I want to do? Hmm. I think maybe I do want to do that. So let me do that. Let me draw a couple of cards here. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I like the looks of that. Yeah, a load of spice going to Ilbon. Um, I'm not... Typically, I like to have six spice on me when round seven rolls around because it's a... It's like a crucial time to win a conflict a lot of the time. I'm not set up for that this time, which I don't like. Can I do something about it? Well, I could send Test of Humanity to Siege Tabor and get a water. And then I could send Signet Ring to Haga Basin to get Spice. So I could actually set myself up this turn, which probably I should try to do. Um, we'll, well, there's also two Spice out of the Gene Manipulation, actually, now I think about it. But Test of Humanity is good now because I want to make these people discard before they get a chance to reveal. So... I feel bad not sending this to a Bene Gesserit space. But. Well. Yeah, because if I get the spice out of this, then I don't I don't have to go here. So let me let me do this. Get another intrigue card, get my point there. Make these people discard their cards. Uh, that's always a good feeling. Maybe the Baron loses a troop or Ilbon. No, they all discard. Okay. Plans within plans. Okay, that is good to know about. I've got some work to do there, but the earlier the better with that. Okay, now, by not playing the Signet Ring, the power play might be snagged, but, you know... There's only so much I can do. Yeah, okay, there it goes. Uh, 
Another Bene Gesserit card, although I don't necessarily need it. Um. Hmm. Yeah, maybe it's these two. Maybe I don't actually need to use the signet ring here. Now, I would like to be able to get a spice must flow this turn. If I want to do that, I'm a little bit worried about drawing a card because I kind of don't want to waste... Like, I don't want to draw Thufir because Thufir is my Hayliner access next round. Uh, do I go to Hall of Oratory? It feels a bit weak. Uh, I don't want to trash any of these cards, but I do want to get the spice out of that. If I go to Hall of Oratory, that brings me to eight persuasion. In order to get back up to nine, I would have to... There's not really a way to do it without getting lucky on a card draw. Maybe I just have to not get a Spice Must Flow. Or I do the card draw first, see what that does for me. Maybe that's the way. I don't really want to participate in this conflict, I don't think. But again, drawing a card, I have a one in five chance of really messing up my next round. Any of the other ones is fine. If I draw Gurney or if I draw Convincing Argument, I can buy a Spice Must Flow. If I get either the Dune or the Sodokar Legion, I cannot. Um, but if I get the Dune, I can trash it. Okay, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to do this. And... We'll see what it does for me. Please don't draw Thufir. I want to draw the card first. It's Gurney. Okay, that's good because that means I can get a Spice Must Flow if I don't play that. Um, so unfortunately, there's nothing that I want to trash. And do I want to deploy troops? I don't really think I do. I think I just want to hang on to those for now. So I think I have to click this and click decline. Yeah, it's a little weird. Okay. All right, um, if I play the Missionar Protectiva, that means I won't be able to get a Spice Must Flow. But I could go up somewhere, you know. Um, or I could just play the Signet Ring to Hall of Oratory, I guess, just to get a troop. I don't know though, this, like the Spice Must Flow gets me a point right now, but it kind of cruds up my deck a little bit. Playing this, let's say I send it to Karthag. Okay, that gets me an Intrigue card and it allows me to, let's say go up one on Bene Gesserit or Spacing Guild and then get a point from that that I otherwise might not be able to. So maybe I don't care that much about getting Spice Must Flow. I wish I could do both, but I don't see a way to do it. Um, you know, like if I go to Selective Breeding, that screws up my plans for next turn having a bunch of Spice. So I'm not gonna do that. So I think I will. I will do this. Okay, that's nice. 
And where will I take that point? Well, I'm planning to hit up the Hayliner next turn. Um, so maybe that's a good time to, to do this. Because that's very likely going to be a point. Okay. Do I need to windfall? No. We're fine there. All right. Do I want any of these cards now? I don't think I want another Sodakar Legion. The Worm Riders is okay, but not particularly exciting. The Freeman Camp might be a good thing to pick up. I think I'll do that. And I think I will just leave it at that. I don't really want to put a bunch of more things in my deck right now. So, yeah, we'll stop there. Right, so the plans within plans. Okay, I've got three here, but I don't have the three anywhere else. So I still do need to get... I, yeah, I kind of wasn't thinking about that when I chose my influence just now. Um, I mean, ideally, I'd like to get three everywhere. It's not super likely, but it could happen. How many cards do I have left to trash? Three still. It, it might be a little tricky to find them because I have to have them on hand at the right time. Okay, there's the battle for Carthag. This is what I've been waiting for. Uh, luckily, I get to go before Ilbon so I can hit up that Hayliner. Right now. Baron stealing some secrets from Leto. Okay. Bumping up there on me. Yeah, I definitely need to win this conflict. I need those victory pointos. Right. Hayliner. And we're going to send them all in. Send them all in. Um, is there any reason for me to use the bribery right now? The Baron just used the power play there, right? So I don't have to worry about him stealing that alliance in one fell swoop, I don't think. I think I better hang on to that and use it where I need it to try to activate the plans within plans. So I'm not going to do it right now. Okay, luckily that's not <laughs> active. Okay. Hmm, I want to use this test of humanity, but I really want to send it here. Uh, so I think I better play the Dune the Desert Planet to Imperial Basin. Then use the test of humanity to go here. I think that's right. Because I do need to trash this Dune. Um, possibly I could do it next turn if it's sitting in my discard pile. But I'm also going to have to trash this convincing argument. What else do I have left? I think I have a dune. I have a convincing argument. Oh, I have to trash the diplomacy, don't I? Ooh, that feels bad. That's not something you typically want to do. Good thing Thufir is here to kind of fill that role for me. Hmm, it's a bit rough because I want to use the diplomacy. Because I want to end up with three. Like, I need an influence here, here, and here in order to get the most out of the plans within plans. But I think I have to do this. So let me just do it. Um, I'm not going to send in more troops right now. I'm just going to trust that that should be good. Because the game is not going to end this round. I'm still going to have to do things in future rounds here. Yeah, it's unfortunate that I couldn't... Oh, boy. Maybe I can get that. Leto, wait a minute. What? 
What just happened? Ooh, I don't like that with four entry cards. Did I blow it? I blew it. <laughs> I should have thought about the hardy warriors, huh? Ooh, that is frightening. Does this change? Do I have to not do this? Do I have to actually go somewhere else and throw in more troops now? Oh man, that really, that really sucks. I really wanted to do that. But trying to play conservative, it, I find most of the time I regret it when I'm conservative on one of these fights, even when it seems like I'm way ahead. And, you know, occasionally you end up overcommitting, and that's not ideal, but it feels better to, like, overcommit when you didn't actually have to than undercommit and then lose out, because I'm a bit worried here. I'm Honestly, I'm worried even if I do it, even if I fill this up with four intrigue cards on them. But, yeah, I don't think I can, I don't think I can send this over here anymore. So... Um, do I want to send it to Arakeen? What would drawing a card do for me? Possibly the gurney could save me if in a real pinch. Um, I guess, you know what? I do have the Sardaukar Legion to throw in troops too. So maybe I'll just hope that that works. I'm going to hope that that works. Let me do this as planned. And maybe Leto throws a troop out here. Who knows? No, he discards a convincing argument. Okay, well, that might have been good. That might stop somebody from grabbing this Kwisatz Haderach. Okay, let me discard here. Um, we'll lose the Dune. What do we get? There's Gurney, so I can actually use him if I need to. So that's pretty nice insurance to have. And I'm up to Spice Must Flow money. That is good too. End the turn. Let's see what happens here. People starting to creep up on my Imperial Alliance, which I don't like. But the big thing is gonna be, what does Leto have here? He has one sword. Um, and then I guess my other question is going to be, do I buy the Spice Must Flow or do I buy Kwisatz Haderach? That lets me trash a card right away. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay, do I use Gurney? Or do I hope that the two troops from thro thrown in from here will be enough? That'll bring me to 16, 17. It's not a big lead, depending on what he has for entry guards. I don't love burning the windfall on this, but I think I will because of what I was just saying about being conservative. Um, so yeah, let me do that. Let me reveal. We're gonna throw those in. Oh, it's 19. Why did I think it, anyways, even so. Hey, wait, what? Where did my gurney ability go? Oh, I have to confirm. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I just, I just cannot lose this. So I'm going all in on that. And it's probably an overcommitment, but I don't want to blow it. Spice must flow or Kwisatz Haderach. Um, I'm going to Kwisatz Haderach because I need to trash that convincing argument, and then this lets me do it right now. Uh, I also have to trash the diplomacy, but I think I'll leave that one for last. Okay, two left. And that's going to be a no. Pass. 
pass. Okay, well, fine. I get the victory points. I get control of Carthag, which could come in handy because I need some Solari for this bribery. All right, battle for Imperial Basin now, which I'm not in much of a position to fight for. Um, but I kind of knew that was going to happen. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a card to throw up here. I was kind of hoping I'd be able to hit up Wealth to get the Solari for the bribery to lock up the Alliance, but I do not have that as an option. Um, shifting Allegiances, though. I could send Shifting Allegiances in here. That could be interesting. Is there a power play still out there somewhere? That's what I don't... I know one has been used, but I can't remember if the other one has... I don't remember if Ilbon has used his power play yet. I think, I kind of think he has. All right. It's a bit... <laughs> the problem with playing Bene Gesserit strats is that it causes a lot of headaches trying to figure out the order of cards. Like it always makes it awkward as fuck. I don't need to play this Signa Ring. I do need to trash this Diplomacy this turn. That is something I do need to get done. That's the last card I need to trash. So that has to be a priority. All right. Which means I'm going to need... Oh, this card can trash it just by playing it. Okay, so that's, that's taken care of. Is it just these three? Maybe. Do I grab the Solari for the bribery? How am I going to get my points? I need to buy a Spice Must Flow, I think. I've got a lot of things I need to do here. All right, I don't know about this play at all. I'm just like in kind of a, a brain spin. So I just had to do something. Uh, but it's nice to get through fear. It's probably just gonna end up being an intrigue card. Um, I wanted to get a Bene Gesserit card in play to start triggering these ones, right? I wanna trigger that trash and get the spice. I wanna use this to get an influence somewhere. Hmm. I'm not going to be in on this conflict, I don't think. Okay. All right. I mean, maybe it's Research Station. That seems like a pretty good one. So let me do that. Um, wait a minute now. Oh, no. Oh, no. When I played the Bene Gesserit Initiate, I drew a card and it reshuffled my deck. That blows the whole thing. I can't trash. 
Oh man. Okay, that makes things really rough. I needed to trash that diplomacy from my discard pile, but now it's in my deck. Oh, uh, I can't win without that being trashed. <laughs> well, do I want to trash anything at this point? I guess not then. This whole turn got totally blown up by that blunder. All right. Oh. Oh, man. And I think I may have just blundered again because... Can I undo? No, because I've drawn a card. If I'd drawn the cards first, then I could trash the diplomacy from my hand. Oh, blunder into blunder. But that happens sometimes, right? You get tilted from making a mistake and it compounds into another mistake. All right, well... Nothing to do about it now. I just have to draw my cards and I might have to visit selective breeding or something. All right. Do I need to bribery right now? Uh, maybe I do. Maybe I just grab that alliance while I can, even though I'm planning to hit selective breeding. Hmm. No. I want to get each of these points, right? I'm going to wait. Um, I want to activate the double point on the plans within plans. So I don't want to use that if I don't absolutely have to. I'm risking not getting that alliance, but that's all right. Yeah, I mean, the Freeman camp was something I could potentially have done myself if not for my my blunder, uh, because I have to I have to trash this diplomacy. So I have to go to selective breeding. I guess. Yeah, I guess I want to draw everything to get that Kwisatz Haderach. So that means I use Thufir to do it. I could use the diplomacy and then just trash it to itself. But then I might not get the Kwisatz Haderach and I think I want to get it this turn and make sure I do. So, here we go. Um, goodbye diplomacy. Hello to you, hello to you. Get the alliance, get the intrigue card. Okay. All right. So with the Quisad's Haderach, that's going to allow me... It's funny. I have no cards in my deck and no cards in my discard pile. Iron Slow. Hey. Welcome to the stream. Don't forget to secure the Emperor Alliance. Ilban is about to steal it. Hmm. That's interesting. I don't think I can... I don't think I can right now. And it looks like... It looks like he's not going to be able to get it this round. And uh, there's not going to be a next round. And what I want to do is I want to be on three influence with every track to get both points out of the plans within plans. So that requires me to use the Kwisatz Haderach either, you know, with the guild or with the Freeman and then use the bribery with the other one to get all of that. Uh, then buy a spice must flow and it should be game over. So where does this one go? I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, so... Yeah. We'll go here. Uh, we'll send this one. Yeah, we'll send this one. <laughs> no cards to draw is pretty funny. Um, we'll use the bribery. 
and we'll take the guild point. End turn. The Baron is winning this conflict, which is actually scary. But I think I'll be able to edge him out with the plans within plans and the spice must flow. It's going to be close, actually. I didn't realize how many points the Baron had all of a sudden. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything particularly interesting I can do there. We'll just get the spice must flow. And that is it there. I would have liked to have gotten in on this conflict a little bit just to get some spice for a potential tiebreaker. Okay, the Baron has... Oh, okay, that's kind of a weird way to use that card in this situation. So the Baron's going to get to 11. I'm going to be at 12. Hopefully that's how it ends. There's no intrigue cards there, so I should be good. Yes. Ooh, victory is mine. Okay, that was uh that was an interesting one. I definitely liked the heroic version of that more than the basic one because that challenge of trashing every card from your deck other than what was it, the Signet Ring and the Missionara Protectiva that you start with in this mode. Um, that was a good challenge. It made it interesting. Um, I almost blew it, but managed to still pull it out. Uh, all right. Well, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I'm going to continue the stream, but if you're watching this on YouTube, this video will end here. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe. So with that, uh, see you in the next video or keep watching on the stream. And that's twitch.tv slash bludgeon if you'd like to follow along live. Okay, 